Hi, I'm Matt Sargent with ABC Acres in Hamilton, Montana. Today we're out in our floodplain. Just gave you a little bit of a panoramic view. As far as uh, permaculture zones go, it's definitely zone five. It's on our the perimeter of our property. And just west of us, you saw the big row of uh, pine trees and whatnot is state land. Uh, deer, elk, moose, they all live in there, migrate through it. The Bitterroot River is about uh, 100 yards that way. So we don't spend a lot of time in here, but we do have some projects that we're doing, uh, some maintenance, and uh, there are things that are going to develop over the next couple of years because they are kind of lower on the priority. But what we're working on today is some of our Chinampa beds. Over the last couple of years, Tim and uh, my predecessor, Grant, they made a bunch of islands with uh, cottonwood logs, and we're working on transforming these into Chinampas. We're looking to build... Uh, more edge, play with edge effect to enhance the biodiversity in this area. Most of the summer months, this is kind of underwater. Um, so our hopes is to create these islands of vegetative growth. So what we're gonna be doing today is um, chopping and dropping this alder, as well as some uh, chopping and hauling some cattails to get more organic matter on top of these chinampa beds. Um, with the alder, uh, some of them we are going to be coppicing at the bottom. Some of them we're going to be pollarding. It's kind of a game time decision. And then the thicker diameter, four inches or greater, we're going to be harvesting that to inoculate with shiitake logs or with shiitake spawn uh, for shiitake logs. And that will be another video. Look forward to it in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm going to start chopping and dropping. All right, so this is the same chinampa that we were at just a moment ago. I've gone through and cut down the alder that I want to. Some of it we uh, pollarded, some of it we cut low. Most of it will sprout back. It's a very renewable source and a great source of carbon. So we've got that. Now I'm gonna be uh, cutting some cattails and mulching it with the cattails. I'm back. Um, imagine that. What a surprise. Uh, this is where we are. I've been down here a little over an hour. We've got the alders down. We've got 90%, 80% of the cattails down. Probably take another 30, 40 minutes um, and a sharper blade to finish that off. The next step would be to probably get some sort of soil mix, uh, soil and or compost on top of these. We'll probably wait and get some rain and snow on top of it. Let it start down a little, mat down a little bit. Um, and then we'll be planting dynamic accumulators and pollinator attractors, things like stinging nettle, comfrey, um, et cetera, et cetera. Things that we could either come harvest and make compost teas out of, things that we can let be here just to benefit everyone else. Um, and that's our plan. We've got, you know, 30 to 40 of these down in the flood plains. Like I said, we're in our zone 4.95 ish. Uh, so we aren't going to be spending eight, eight hours a day down here ever. We're not going to be doing it now. Um, this is definitely a work in progress. We just thought we'd show it to you. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, we love to hear from you. Um, we like to know what you're up to, what's going on on your farm, on your homestead. And uh, any ideas or questions you have for future videos, we always uh, like them. And until next time, happy growing.